Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Zaina and today's video is going to be about this piece. I'm going to start working on it like in now. And I think I'm going to treat these colors. Anyway, so look at this one. Let me show you the piece. You guys, look at those legs. Let me, I'm going to sand it first. Clean it, then prime it. So for the sanding, I'm using 120 grit sandpaper. I'm going to give it light sanding on some areas like the corners and heavy sanding on the side. So the design in the middle was already falling apart. All I'm gonna have to do is literally just pull it out and it will break very easily. Unfortunately, I can't save it because it was really damaged. Well, whoops. I guess I don't need this tool. I was trying to be very careful so I don't break the glass. And this is the piece after I sand it. Now let's clean it, then I'm gonna prime it using oil-based primer by Zenzer. I will let my primer dry for a few hours, then I'll give it light sanding, clean it, then I'll start painting. Elegance is my first color by Country Chic Paint and I'm using their brush too, called Oval Brush and I'm just trying to give it one light coat. I like to blend my colors on a color base, not right on the primer. So after I let my color dry, which is elegance, I did give the piece one coat of cobblestone color, which is dark gray by Country Paint, but I didn't record that. This is the color if you see it. And for the edges, I wanted to give a dry brush and a little bit of dabbing using Tropical Cocktail. I've already worked on a piece. I used the same colors uh, a few years ago and I'm gonna put a picture of it. It was very nice nightstand. So I just wanted to copy that look uh, for this piece. So for the mold, I'm going to choose two long keyholes to create a mold around the keyhole that I have. It was damaged and I had to remove the lock. So the only thing I didn't do is on this video is adding the lock to that keyhole. So as usual, I always choose two different molds uh, to use the extra uh, resin that I'm, I have and not waste it. You know, use it for different projects. This resin actually dries within 10 minutes, but still I'm gonna leave it to dry, then I'm gonna work on the back of my piece. I wanted to add a stencil, so I'm using the Sunlit Stencil by Kacha. She has a, a new line with Redesign with Prima. Very beautiful designs, and as you can see it, it was actually released a few months ago. So I'm gonna use the uh, Decor Wax by Prima with their wax brush and add that design to the back of my piece. And for the molds, time to put it up on the door. I'm using E6000 glue for that. And adding a little bit of gold on it, on the detail so they can pop up. The only thing that I didn't record is I did hole on that keyhole and I added the key lock so I can lock the door. It was easy but I didn't record it, sorry for that. For the legs, I wanted to add the gold but from the inside, not outside. And that actually, added a beautiful touch to the legs 
they kind of popped a little bit, popped up. You know that you can see them. You can notice the beautiful legs from the gold and gold a little bit on the corners and this is the result. Thank you so much guys for watching. Let me know if you have any questions or if you like the piece, leave a comment down so I know you like it. Thanks again.